Okay, in this mini lecture, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of uh, titration, acid-based titration problems. Uh, depending upon how long this takes, um, I may only get to one of the problems and may put the second problem in a different video. Um, so if you only, if I say I'm going to do a couple and I only get through one, uh, I'll be looking for another video on it. Uh, this, in this particular problem, we are neutralizing sulfuric acid with sodium hydroxide and titration. This is a titration problem. Titration problems at the heart are a stoichiometry problem. And we know anytime we have a stoichiometry problem, the number one thing we have to have is a balanced equation. So let's try to pull out a balanced equation here. We start out, we've got the formula for sulfuric acid, and that is H2SO4. And we know we're adding to that. We're neutralizing it with sodium hydroxide and the formula for sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Um, in this case, we predict our products. Uh, we see that our base is a hydroxide. We know if we neutralize a hydroxide, we're going to get a water molecule or in, in the, is one of the products. And now we just had to analyze and see which salt we're getting. Uh, we've got a sodium ion. We've got a sulfate ion and sodiums are a single plus, sulfates are a two minus, so we have Na2SO4 as our other product. Now we need to make sure we have a balanced equation. We take a look at this and say on the product side, we've got two sodiums. On the, on the reactant side, we just have the sodium hydroxide, so it only gives us one sodium, so we're gonna have to have uh, two units of the sodium hydroxide to balance that out. And now we are good on sodium, we're good on the sulfate ion, and we also recognize that the acid in this case has given us two hydrogen ions, and our base has given us two hydroxide ions, and therefore we are gonna produce two water molecules, and now we have a balanced equation. So let's take a look. What is our goal of this problem? Our goal is to find the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. And we know that the concentration, we're talking about the molarity here. So we're just trying to find the molarity. Recall the molarity of a solution is the moles of the solute per liter of the solution. And in this problem, they've given us information about the volume of the sodium hydroxide solution. They've given it to us in terms of milliliters. And so we can pull out that we've got 45.9 milliliters of our sodium hydroxide solution. We know there's a thousand milliliters in a liter, so we can just move that decimal place over and calculate that we have 0.0459 liters of our sodium hydroxide solution. So at this point, we know the volume of the solution. Um, in order to find the concentration, we just now need to find the number of moles of the NaOH. Well, again, I said that this is at its heart, this is a stoichiometry problem and um, in order to find the moles of the sodium hydroxide, we can relate the moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of something else in our balanced equation. And it looks like we have information here that's going to provide us for that um, with enough information to find out the moles of the sulfuric acid. So I'm going to move over to the board here and start working this out. And again, as we look at this, we say that we know from our from our balance equation, um, our coefficients tell us that the ratio of the sodium hydroxide to the sulfuric acid is two to one. So if we can find the moles of the sulfuric acid, we'll be able to then uh, use this mole ratio to calculate and find the moles of our NaOH. So we're going to start out here. We pull out from the problem that it's a 0 0.750 molar solution of the sulfuric acid. That means that we've got 0 0.750 moles of our sulfuric acid per liter of our sulfuric acid solution. So what we really want to find out is how many moles of the H2SO4. So our good dimensional analysis says, well, if we multiply this by the liters of the sulfuric acid solution, that will cancel out the liters and we'll find out how many moles of sulfuric acid. Let's this over. Let's 
say, well, if we multiply that by the number of liters of sulfuric acid, and in our problem up here, we've got 31.8 milliliters. We're just going to convert that over to liters by moving the decimal place over. That's 0 0.0318 liters of H2SO4. Now at this point, we can cancel our units here. And say, sure enough, we cancel those out. We have the moles. If we stop to calculate it, we have the moles of our acid here. And now we can go and use our mole ratio to say we are going to require two moles of the sodium hydroxide for every one mole of the sulfuric acid in this titration problem. And we'll stop and say, well, let's cancel our units. And at this point, if, if we stopped and calculated now, we would have the moles of the NaOH. And this is exactly what we're looking for down here. We're trying to find the moles of the NaOH. So we can take those moles of NaOH and divide it by the volume of NaOH. So what I'm just going to do here is instead of dividing by it, I'll multiply by the inverse. Same thing as dividing. And this is going to be our 0 0.0459 liters of NaOH and looking at our units, the units that we have left here, we have our units of moles of NaOH per liter of NaOH, that's our molarity. So we can go ahead and calculate this and we find that we have 1.04 molar NaOH is the answer to this particular problem. And with the time on this, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, I have another video that's coming up um, on finding out, uh, using the stoichiometry to find the uh, volume of a solution that's going to be required. So that other, the other type of problem you're going to see will involve being given the information for the, the concentrations of both solutions and using that information to find the volume instead.